So, I just finished a review on the Kubler series cases by Silverstone, and I thought I added a Strider 400 watt power supply into the review, but there wasn't that much showing of the actual power supply and how well it performed or anything like that. So, I decided to do a separate review on the Strider 400 watt power supply. Now, this is 80 plus bronze power supply, and it's at a budgeting price. So if you're a gamer, this would be great. But obviously it doesn't come with so many connectors, but it comes with just enough connectors and it's still very good quality and it's definitely a great brand by Silverstone as, you, as we know it. So I've decided to actually do another review separately from that case to the power supply. And you need to stick around to find out what this power supply entails. Right, so just taking the power supply straight out of the box, we have 150 millimeters in uh, width, and we've got 140 millimeters in depth, and we've got 86 millimeters in height. Now, looking at the power supply just as itself, we've got four Phillips screws at the top, and we've also got a grill, which you can obviously take off and clean the dust away from it. Now this is not a modular power supply, this is just a power supply that's all in one, but obviously Silverstone do a hell of a lot of power supplies for every occasion, even for servers. So I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can have a look and find out what you actually, or what your needs will be. So it's got an exhaust um, grill at the back there, and the stickers on upside down, depending on which way it is, and also the cable structure is on the right hand side. So if you put it in your case, normally the cables would be easier to get to the grommets to the left hand side, but if you've got a higher case that can breathe or exhaust um, the power supply from the bottom, then obviously you won't have that problem and the stick will be the right way up. So now looking at the power supply itself, it's got a separate 20 pin connector and also it's got an extra four pin to make it 24 pin. So 20 pins for the old school motherboards and 24 is for the new motherboards. It comes with three Molex, I can see there. Yeah, so three Molex connectors on, on that one cable and also a disc drive, the old school floppy disc. It's got one connector there. It's got an eight pin P EPS or it's got four pins so you can put in the newer motherboards four or actually eight so you can you can split it or you can have it in four it won't obviously work with the two pin that you can get on some other motherboards i.e like the nut boards but obviously this power supply is a bit too big to go on a nut board then it comes with um two pci um cables for your uh, graphics card these are six pin and it also comes with one, two, three, four. So it comes with six eSATA connectors. So these are your power connectors for your CD, DVD, Blu-ray, hard drives, and anything like that that accepts this sort of power rather than Modex. And the cable bray is just basically the actual 24 pin is actually braided, but not braided in like an, um, well, it's black but all the other cables are like normal standard yellow and black and red and orange and stuff like that but you can kind of cover it up or you can put an extension and obviously have the cables right in from the back now the power supply actually goes up to 18 decibels so technically when you're really gaming hard off of it it's not going to be it's not going to be annoying 18 decibels isn't really nothing especially if you've got dampening in the case 